Yes, that was our our tonight show cast, Stan. Was that Cottontail? Yes. Yeah. Ellington's Cottontail with Snoopy Young. Formerly, <laughs> formerly Snoopy. We changed his name officially now, so change your birth certificate, Snoopy. <laughs> A living legend and a genuine master of the trumpet, Snooky Young is an instantly recognizable star with whomever and wherever he plays. A perfectionist on his instrument, as well as a trumpet's plunger mute, Young could make his horn speak, shout, growl, and sigh, while always maintaining an irresistible swing. His trumpeter talents were admired by many of the greatest musicians of the 20th century, where he always demonstrated what made jazz so extraordinary. Eugene Edward Snooky Young was born on February 3, 1919, in Dayton, Ohio. An early lover of music, Snooky began playing the trumpet at the age of six. He learned his instrument from Ed Saunders from Detroit's popular McKinney's Cotton Pickers Band. Growing up in a musical household, Snooky's family had a band called the Young Snappy Six. His father and mother played banjo and guitar, and his sister played the piano. By the time he was 19, Snooky began to make a name for himself, joining on as the lead trumpeter of the Jimmy Lunsford Band, which had achieved a national reputation as one of the top black swing bands of the time. The 1940 big band swing music was the most popular music in America, and it was not unusual for soloists to become stars. Snooky's reputation was well noted for his striking trumpet soloing on his first recording with Lunsford called Uptown Blues. Young was a prototype of a great lead trumpeter and also a distinguished soloist, always sporting an intriguing blend of swing and jazz. In the early 1940s, his distinctive sound made him the trumpeter of choice for the great jazz big band leaders, including the great Count Basie. From 1942 to 1947, Young also worked with many of the best bands of the era, including Lionel Hampton, Lee Young, the Les Hyde Orchestra, and Benny Carter. He rejoined the Count Basie band from 1945 to 1947. For the next 10 years, Snooky Young went on to lead his own band in his hometown of Dayton. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, he continued to perform periodically with both Lionel Hampton and Count Basie. By the mid-60s, he was in constant demand, performing in many top-ranked recording sessions with the best of the best players. Upon leaving Count Basie, Young became a studio trumpeter at NBC Studios in New York City. While at NBC, he became a permanent member of the Tonight Show Orchestra. In 1972, he moved to Los Angeles with the show and held down his chair there until 1992, becoming one of Doc Severinsen's favorite players and one of America's most notable trumpeters. Over the years, he's appeared on more than 75 albums, performing with such dignified artists as Jimmy Smith, the Modern Jazz Quartet, Count Basie, Nat King Cole, Johnny Hammond, Charles Mingus, Coleman Hawkins, Joe Williams, Gil Evans, Sarah Vaughan, Ray Brown, Joe Henderson, Thad Jones, Hubert Laws, Freddie Hubbard, Randy Crawford, Jaco Pastorius, Stanley Tarantine, Steely Dan, Shirley Scott, and the great Quincy Jones. Young has issued only three albums under his own name, and of these, Horn of Plenty features him as a sole headliner. Young has been busy in the L.A. area ever since, appearing regularly as a lead trumpeter in several local big bands and sounding as sharp and witty as ever. Throughout his sensational musical career, Snooky Young has inspired countless musicians while entertaining audiences around the world with his masterful trumpeting skills. The National Endowment for the Arts is pleased to honor Snooky Young as a 2009 NEA Jazz Master. <laughs>